Whether it be from the comfort of your backyard gazebo or simply walking down 42nd Street, inspiration can strike you just about anywhere. And yes, we mean anywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. For comedian and bedside, bedside res resident, Caitlin Cook, she found her inspiration upon the partitions of public bathroom stalls, mm. and the results have turned into more than just a quick restroom break laugh. That's right, because Caitlin has transformed the uplifting and oftentimes cheeky mm -hmm. graffiti findings from lavatories near and far to create a comedic and legendary one-of-a-kind musical that you just have to hear to believe. We'll never be Beyonce. Uh, so. You know, I really thought there was a chance, and she's joining us live this morning now with oh. all the juicy deets. Caitlin, welcome Thank to you. the <laughs> We're never going to be Beyonce, huh? No, sadly. Uh, Unless shuck. there's reincarnation. Let's just go home now at that, okay. at that note. <laughs> okay, so you first started off. <laughs> Photographing graffiti. Yes. First of all, thank you. Yeah. Someone had to, to be documented. <laughs> thank you. What in the fresh heck <laughs> made you decide to do this and and be successful at it? Um, okay, so I studied art history in undergrad, uh, and okay, I started to feel like that world was getting very pretentious mm -hmm. and elitist. And I saw this piece of bathroom graffiti that said, "Since writing on bathroom walls is neither for critical acclaim nor financial reward, it is the purest form of art." Discuss. Where's the lie? And did you discuss? Did you take out your I, sharpie? I am discussing. You know, I'm <laughs> discussing the show. I took a picture of that and I just started photographing it. And uh, I've been photographing it for like ten years. And then I'm also a singer-songwriter and a comedian. And I thought, what a great <laughs> way to take all of these photographs I have in my phone camera roll, put them on the screen behind me as I sing the lyrics. They needed to be shared with the masses. That's right. I'm I think so. so grateful that you've embarked on this journey. Thank you. Have you yourself ever written on a bathroom stall? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm a comedian, so if someone writes a really good premise, gonna I'm going to write the punchline right below it. You know? It's not your basic Caitlin was no. W-U-Z. Ah, it's all about the Z. I mean, that's okay. It's but, rebuttal. Is yeah. it always rebuttal? No. I mean, I try to be a little creative. Okay. You know? yeah. Okay. Craziest bathroom we've ever been in. Oh man, I mean, there's so many. I love a dive bar bathroom because they're oh, just please. covered in little hidden gems. Come you know, on. it's it's gotten to the point where I'll go back out to my friends and they're like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "I was just in there taking photos." Just research. <laughs> just have you ever consulted with any men or snuck into a men's room to, to oh. see yes. what's on their walls versus what's on the ladies? Yes. Um, uh, in fact, that song that you just posted uh, is uh, a song about the difference between men's versus women's stalls. Uh, okay. Um, and your findings have revealed what? Uh, well, women are very encouraging. Okay. It's very, it's, you know, it's enough for it to be posted on, on a live Good television show. Sure. Good for us. Uh, very encouraging. Girl, leave him. Yes, you can do it. Yes. Um, and men draw very intricate illustrations of their nether regions. Of their nether regions. Mm -hmm. It's you really that, that simple, tracks. folks. <laughs> it tracks. So, you, you Men mentioned go to you Jupiter <laughs> to get more stupider. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned you studied art history. Yeah. You're also a singer songwriter mm -hmm. and a comedian. And a com you're a you're like a quadruple. It's a perfect story. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> what made you decide? I'm going to turn these findings into music. Were you really pulling on that part of your brain, the singer songwriter? Because yeah. why not just photograph it and leave it there? Totally fine to do that. I've just I've always been a songwriter. I wrote my first song at age three about cats. I write songs oh. about everything all the time. And, uh, and I wrote this first song using graffiti, and it did so well, because everyone sat in the bathroom and seen something crazy yeah. written on a wall. It True. did so well that I was like, I think I can write a whole musical of these. I can write men's versus women's. I can write people responding to each other. I can write <laughs> the sad, poetic things people are writing on stalls. So, yeah. so OK, so you have your show mm -hmm. upcoming yeah. called The Writing, the on, writing the on the Stall. Yeah. What can we expect? It's going to be you out there on stage. Yes. Singing the ballads of the bathroom walls. Yes. Do there you bring is, anyone in? There's l literally a toilet on stage. Oh, no, there's not. <laughs> Perfect. I treat the audience like we're women bonding in a bathroom, okay. although anyone of any gender is welcome to come. But we've all been there. Yes. Look at this face. I love this face. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry I interrupted. Oh, That's toilet right. on stage. Yes. Um, bonding. Bonding. It's, you know, it's about the stories that we write on the bathroom. It's the stories that we share with each other when we're, when we're in line to go to the bathroom. It's about human stories mm -hmm. at its... 
you know, most human level, not at the elite level of the art no. world, at the bathroom. Graffiti Everybody's level. just looking to connect, whether yeah. it be Everybody's in person like... or, or responding to messages on the wall. Do yeah. you ever go into a bathroom where there's nothing? Yeah, and it's sad. And it's sad. <laughs> yeah, I bet. A nice it's establishment, nice probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you also celebrated a one year anniversary? of your album. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's kind of funny to put out an album and <laughs> as I've been like promoting this show and posting these videos, mm -hmm. they've been really going viral and people are now just discovering the album a year after it's out. So well, it's pretty crazy. You never know what it takes, but yeah. this was it. This is it. Uh, you live in Bed-Stuy. Yes. Brooklyn. Do you have a recommended favorite place to go eat, hang out, Go check out Bathroom Graffiti. I was mm. going to say. Um, my local bar is called Gloria de Baldi, and it's just down the block. Uh, and oh. it's got great bathroom graffiti okay. and lots of bar dogs and regulars, and they play chess on Tuesdays. It's great. Bar dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you mean hot dogs or the actual animal? Actual dogs that hang out in the there bar. There we go. Stop it. Yeah. On like there. A I'm cat in there, there like yes. swimwear. Yes. Dog. This Sign one, me up. This one's going to be there in two yes, seconds. Yes, I will. <laughs> be and did you say they play chess on Tuesday? Yeah, they have a chess club on Tuesday. Um, they do a lot of like events there, crawfish boils. Sometimes oh, in the summer. Yeah. Excuse us. Very fun bar. Very cool people. Well, I feel like I need to go find a public bathroom and tag it up a little. <laughs> Please tag and leave it you up. A, and leave you a clue. Yes. So oh maybe my we God. can find it. And Please. we can have a conversation. All Please. right. Go see Caitlin Cook's show. For a good time. Yes. yes. And you know, uh, if send me a picture of that. If anyone who's listening wants to send me a picture of bathroom graffiti, DM it to me on Instagram. I'll give you a discount code to the show. And oh. what is that Instagram? Be Caitlin Cook. The Caitlin Cook. You heard it here first, fellas. And by the way, performances for the writing on the stall begin tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the moment has come.